Good morning, Libra, on this Friday Eve. I think my, my camera is counting me down. Oh well, time to get rid of some stuff, clean up the clutter, as they say. Happy Friday Eve. How you doing today? <clears throat> you hold the key to something. You're going to be unlocking something. Should I pull these? Uh -uh. <laughs> I'm taking these out. Look, it looks like you're being anointed. All the angels are here for you. Old, look behind you. Dreams come true. New views. The truth might sting, but will move mountains. Here, I had to move that. <laughs> change your thoughts, change your life. You need a different mindset? You can get one. A little cluttered today. All right. Something old that you might have to get rid of. Cleaning the clutter out. Something's old that you're not using. It might be a lot. You might want to <clears throat> donate it. Or sell it. New views. I think you might be relocating. You might be moving soon. Let's see what's going on for you. Happy Friday Eve. We're almost there, baby. Temperance. Once you clear out this old stuff, you'll be flying in the air. You'll feel like you're floating in the air. Like a weight has finally left. I'm going to take this. Five of Cups. Oof. Why is that line going straight to the basketball? Because it's the court. Ooh, are you drinking too much coffee? You might want to cut back on your coffee intake. <clears throat> That's a lot of cups there. Ooh, the moon. Oh, my God. It just flipped on me. Look at the moon card. You got everything. Look, the rainbow paradise. Ice cream, mermaid, rainbows. The sun. The clouds are clearing. After you get rid of this clutter, you might be thinking about it too much if you think about it too much that's what's holding you back you're thinking too much if you know you're not using something get rid of it you might find something that's hidden not hidden but something you forgot about if you go through your stuff you might find something you didn't realize you still had and Four of Swords, this is foundation. You might be moving. Look, Central Park in the middle. Why would a fly be on that card? That's so weird. Liberty. Yeah, you're going to be set free of something. Something that's been like lingering around, maybe dragging you down. Look, Six of Pentacles. Mmm, I love pizza. <laughs> Pizza, pizza. All right, let's read these because because <clears throat> I feel like it. <laughs> Temperance. Temperance. <clears throat> Parade balloons. From all the way down here on the ground, you look up and glimpse it. A billboard um, Bosoned with a message made just for you. A Zeppelin sized parade balloon amplifying itself to the epic proportions. The larger than lifeness that lives in all of us. Temperance marks the moments when we open up to the bigness of being here. It's the energy we're encouraged to believe that. Our speck-like existence must have some kind of memento meeting. 
monumental meeting, Temperance asks us to co-create our story in conversation with the forces that exist beyond us. Whenever we work with this card, we're invited to notice the signpost of our lives. Temperance can arrive when we feel like we've lost access to what it all means. Here to reassure us that our story is more than just this, a continuation of the wheel of fortune, faith building work. Temperance wants to remind you our existence is always co-authored by spirit, a divine dialogue instead of a fixed fate. Whenever we give a name to what we're all about, life can offer up even more of it. And soon we start to see flashing neon signs of our soul's purpose everywhere. All right. Maybe you don't realize you have a big purpose of being here. You might want to think about that more in depth. Where are the cups? <clears throat> Five of cups. What's gone from my life and how can I honor the space that it's left behind? Stage a going away ceremony for whatever is no longer present, whether it's a person, place, or way of being. In New York City, notice graffiti tags and I was here markers of former presence. Suss out multiple layers of history on a sign <clears throat> or stand before an empty lot. When we work with this card, <clears throat> it doesn't have to signal out all grief or a major loss, but it does want us to dance with whatever Whatever is no longer here. This could mean honoring a version of yourself that once was, or the pin poignant end of a project, or even just little bits of uncom uncompleted intentions that fall away at the end of the day. I'm sorry, I, I'm hearing something in my kitchen. Wherever the sweetheart holes exist, the Five of Cups wants us to bring our presence to the emptiness that's left behind. <clears throat> okay. I'm just going to keep on going without investigating that. I don't know what the heck that is. Okay, where is the moon? The Mermaid Parade. You're all the way out at the end of the line, immersed in Coney Island chaos. Triple friend claims swords swallow hold. Swords swallowed whole and every shape of beauty human body bared. You may have no idea how you got here. Maybe you missed your stop while fast asleep and somehow ended up dipped in glitter and emptied into the Atlantic. In the midst of the party, you may as well be on the moon, but the secret is that only way out is to wade even deeper. Each of us contains a bit of paranormal activity, and when we pull the moon card, we're asked to stage a seance of self and allowed some of our inner strangeness to possess us. It might be an inexplicable urge that has a sleepwalking toward an irrational choice at 2 a.m. or an overwhelming emotion that rises to tight tidal proportions even though it was inspired by something seemingly small a pull from the past life or an echo from this one that bends linear time all right where are the swords? Here. Here to lift us out of mainstream of life and welcome us to the refuge of retreat. <clears throat> One of the most vacuum sealed of them is the four of swords in our magic freeze frame. 
<clears throat> whenever we work with this card, we're asked to simpli simply stop it, drop it, and step out of the scene before us. You like how that transition from the chaos in the party of the moon and you got to step out of it. This could mean taking a day off from work. <laughs> An afternoon away from the needs of a relationship. A few hours away from your phone or even a second to stop a thought in its track. The Four of Swords shows us that when we give ourselves a break from having to deal we can re-enter when we're good and ready to participate. <clears throat> okay. Six of Pentacles. There you go. Just when you think you're out of luck, a lift arrives. Strangers help you drag your suitcase up the stairs. You receive a bonus that covers the rent exactly. The city gives what it can and you <clears throat> respond in kind okay <clears throat> here to teach us about the exchanges that support existence in the empty and fill of the pentacles suite this card carries us beyond the realm of transactional living into a communal conversation of shared resources without having to run the numbers. This can mean interrupting a pattern in relationships where we only give back exactly what we're given or help regulating excess expenditure when we're already emotionally bankrupt. At its heart, the six, you know, the six wants us to cultivate respectively and generously of spirit without needing to keep score. We take what we need and we give what we can. <laughs> All right. I don't know. That was on that book. <clears throat> Let's see what you got. Hello, oh, spirit. What do you have for Libra today? Mm-mm. That's too chunky. Hmm. <clears throat> House. I'm going to put it on the Four of Swords. That's a stable foundation. I think you might be selling your house to move somewhere. <clears throat> Have you seen online that um, they're paying people to move to different locations? I think I found one for Italy for $32,000 to move there. Community. Toil and labor. Here's that thief, high honor, and distant horizons. Yeah, I'll we'll put that up there. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, well, the community is watching you. Why? I'm not sure. Maybe they see you working hard, like way too hard. Maybe you work and the community sees you working. I don't know. People are nosy, so they notice a lot about you. There's a thief coming Sunday? Might be this weekend. Some type of thief is coming back around. To your house? It's all right. Don't worry about it. They're not going to do anything. They can't. If they do, do what you got to do. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. And high honor. You're going to be held in high honor for something you did. And distant horizons. 
maybe you're currently working on something. Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles card always reminds me of like friends helping you with something, some type of situation. <clears throat> Two of Swords. That could be a relationship forming for you. Maybe your friends are setting you up on a blind date. You never know. Nine of Pentacles. Wow. You have increased your Pentacles. <clears throat> and Seven of Cups. That's really good. Nine of Pentacles. All you need is one more. Look, I got the Queen of Wands on the bottom. You're making things happen in your life. You're a go-getter. I had to take it. All right, so Nine of Pentacles. You have a lot of Pentacles. Four of Wands and Page of Cups. Okay. Your friends are going to help you, possibly set you up on a blind date. I'm not sure if you're going to go. You might use the excuse that you're working. And they're going to be like, when are you going to stop working? Like, take one night off, maybe? And you're like, uh, I don't know. Those blind dates are wishy-washy anyway. Especially when people set you up. That never works out. Seven of Cups. You got seven cups filled. People might be cheering you on because you are at the Nine of Pentacles. Queen of Wands, you're making everything happen. You're manifesting everything you want. <clears throat> Page of Cups, that's the huge cup. Seven, eight cups. And Four of Wands, this is the, the house. Four of Swords, the House, Four of Wands. That's confirming. Yeah, I think you're leaving a house and going into a bigger house. You're upgrading. Congratulations on the upgrade, by the way. These two dropped. <clears throat> I have Teacher. And then I have Torture. I hate that. Maybe you feel like someone's been torturing you. Maybe it's to learn a lesson. Maybe you tried to teach someone something and now they're trying to make you a victim somehow. Benefactor. You're going to be receiving money and look, inheritance, wealth. That's maybe what sparks this move. Once you get this inheritance, you're going to sell your current place. Look, anything you want. And then why'd these come out? Warrior. Maybe you feel like you've been at war with someone or something. Could be yourself. Casanova. Yeah, some guy's coming in. Or girl. Wounded healer. <clears throat> Wisdom keeper. And a knight. Somebody is defending you. Or someone has defended you and you don't even know it. Casanova. I like that card. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. We got the Claude Monet. I really like these cards. <clears throat> <clears throat> I didn't think I would, but they're really good. So there's a lot of money on the board here for you. <clears throat> Maybe once you move, you're going to change your whatever you do for money. That could be. Look, Ace of Pentacles, opportunity, abundance, and luck. You got three of cups on the bottom, which I should have looked at it because we have the three of cups there, don't we? Uh, all right. Well, if it's meant to be, it'll be. Okay, Sarah, Sarah. Oh, well. These cards, whoa, Eight of Cups, Weariness, Restlessness, and Away. 
You might need to get away on vacation. Queen of Cups, calm, empathy, and wisdom. Yep, you made it to queen status. Oof, we're not taking that. That's too many. <clears throat> too many. Knight of Pentacles, efficiency, routine, and dependability. Yeah, I think this knight, the defender, maybe this person's defending you from this thief. Ooh, the moon again. Illusion, deception, and unclarity. If you're invited to a party, you might you might not want to go. Temperance, harmony, abstinence, and patience. You waited a long time for all this to come about. Death card, transformation, rebirth, and change. Seven of Pentacles, Patience, Persistence, and Diligence. Boom. <clears throat> I didn't realize I pulled so many cards, but it's Friday Eve. You gotta get a kickstart to the weekend. Spiritual Law of Attraction. Yeah, you have the key to attract anything you want. Listen, maybe, like it said before, detach from your phone, people, everything. Just have some quiet time and listen. Meditate and listen. You might have to clear your energy or your house with some sage. Or Palo Santo. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm splitting them. Teacher again. Wow. I got freedom and priorities. What are your priorities? You might want to write them down. You write something down, it's more likely to come true. Choose peace. Look, freedom came out again. Yeah, you want your freedom for something, from something, a situation you're in. You want out. O-U-T. Get me out of here. That's what I heard. Clear your shield, your energy. Clear and shield your energy. Shield your energy. Somebody might be trying to get to your energy. You know, you have energy suckers out there. I want to wear you down and take your energy. <clears throat> the Rainbow Prince. Com compensation and Perseverance. You got the Prince and the Knight coming in. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, I'm just going to split. The Shadow Queen. Acquiring knowledge, insecurity, and manipulation. Keeper of the scales, fairness, and balance. That's you, Libra. You know that. <clears throat> the spiritual dancer. Perception. I don't know what that says. Dragon's Duel, Inner Conflict, Mortality, Conscious Choice. The Resting Tree, Patience and Stillness. Lady of Lightning, Surprises, Sometimes Shock, Total Paragram Shift. Paragram, para. Oh, look, the Swan Queen, Transformation, Intuition, and Patience. Uh, Sacred Union. Partnership and romance. Yeah, someone's coming in for you. And you got the Prince Hawk, too. The Hawk Prince. I'm sorry. Spirit communication, paying attention. I stopped there. <laughs> oh, you're going to have the sacred union. Oh, that's good. When two of hearts meet. When two hearts meet. Look, commitment. Commitment is an important factor to achieve a successful relationship. Connection. Your connection is eternal and unbreakable. Admire. It's time to think of everything that you admire in a partner. You might want to write it down, Libra. 
Somebody's coming in. <clears throat> Looks like this is your year. For money and love. Whoa. Honor. Honor your loved one and you will notice your relationship becoming stronger. Union. The union of divine soul counterparts is a miraculous event that begins when you least expect it. You got past lives. We reunite with our loved ones over and over again through many different lives. And then let go. Sometimes it's best to let go and let the universe work things out in divine timing. I love that union card. It's got that little rainbow. <clears throat> got unicorns out here. Rainbows and unicorns. All right. Teamwork. Work with others to make this situation come about. Simplicity. Put your energy into the basics and let go of excess. Get rid of the old things you're not using. I don't care if you sell them or donate them. Give them to someone. Oh, change. The changes that you're going through are positive. You got exercise. Run, walk, swim, or otherwise move your body. This will give you more energy and happiness. And then I'm going to take this. Wish upon a star. Make a wish and expect the very best. True. Yes, what you are asking about is the truth. Brothers and sisters, to get along with others, we see love and the best within them. Laughter. You need a good laugh. You'll know in the morning. When you wake up, you'll have a better idea about what to do. Relax until then. Oh, God. Try something new. You'll only know that you can do something if you try. And thankful. Think about the people and things you feel grateful for. Light. See the light within yourself and everyone else. Decide. It's time to clearly make a decision about what you want. Forgive. It's time to let go of anger or blame and water. Drink more water. Eat foods with water in them, such as watermelon, pineapple, cucumbers. It just says fruits and vegetables, but... You get the idea. Celery is good, too. That'll clean you out. It's like a broom cleaning your insides out, that celery. And it's good for you. It's got the salt in it, like a natural salt. All good things. Sacrament of extreme unction? <clears throat> I just take that as you wishing upon a star. These cards are difficult to decipher. I don't have a book for them. I don't even know if there is. Sacred scar. You might have a scar that's been holding you back from something. Do your research online. Um, I had a scar too from a bozo I used to date. And um, what I used is oregano oil, the drops and coconut oil and I mixed it up and I put it on the scar every night and it's you can't hardly even see it anymore theta of Venus this is while you're in your dream state the Sun congratulations I knew it was here I knew it the lion's gate 888 this is extremely lucky perfume of Sophia I don't know if your name is Sophia or you know a Sophia. Look, the seahorse. These cards are so pretty. Mandala of the heart. Listen to your heart. It will guide you in the right direction. And then I got the Manara. I was not going to pull this. And I was like, eh, might as well. Actually, I'm just going to take them from the top. Indulging the impossible pleasure. Protect your feelings. Protect your energy. 
the great theater of life. <clears throat> the lure of the easiest way. Don't get lured into the easiest way. It might get you in trouble. The pain hidden by luxury. Sometimes people hide behind luxury that are really in pain. Not physically, mentally. The secret naughty feeling. I'm going to stop there for your Friday Eve. Because I do have a few more I want to get through. Here's Divine Doors. Yeah. Oh. Morning memory. It's a healing gift. Runs a destined course. The morning dawn, our inspired source. Ooh. Forgive and forget. A ritual cleansing of pain and lies. Arise and awaken. See a new sunrise. Can you see a new sunrise. Patience. Everything will soon come to light. And then you will see things will be all right. It's going to be all right, Libra. A cure for longing. Love is happiness, a spark inside. Live deliberately and choose boldly. Then you have arrived. I'm going to take this one too. A distant kiss in a prayer flag. I wish of all wishes that you were here. Through sunlight and rain, I need you near. I'm going to take this one too. Silent skill. I challenge you to unpack your mind in meditation's grace and soul can unwind. Yeah, you got to get silent. You need to take time for yourself. It's very important. All right. Cosmic insights. Woo. Intuition. The red flags you ignore now will come back to bite you later. Confession. Someone has something to tell you. Well, then spit it out, buddy. I'm just going to take them from the top. Move on. Someone is unavailable. A waste of time. It's over. There's so many people out there. Don't waste your time on a loser. Cycles. Fate. Karma. Something ended. Something beginning. As soon as you move on, you're going to move into something wonderful. Date night. Get ready to... Be wined and dined. <clears throat> Someone's setting you up. Could be a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Water. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Mm -hmm. All right. Oop, oop, oop. Reunion. We'll always come back to each other. Damage. We are both hurting from this. Whatever that is for you. Maybe that's 